Hey everybody, welcome, welcome tonight to our Red Wave America Night of Worship. I'm Rini Medeiros, founder of Mysterian Expressions and Mysterian TV. So glad to have you tonight. Um, if you could please share this video, we're going to have an awesome night of worship together. We are going to release the mysteries of God's heart over our nation, over our president, over our families. And so part of the reason that we are doing this tonight is to kind of lay the groundwork in the realm of the spirit for the rest of the week. We know that the Senate impeachment hearings are about to start and I believe that it's going to be diffused because heaven has declared that our president is not guilty and so shall it be manifested in the natural courts as it is decreed and declared in the courts of heaven. I just want to say hello to everybody tonight. If you can hear me, make sure that you type in the text chat on Facebook. We are broadcasting on Periscope and also on YouTube. So it's good to have you tonight. Thank you so much for joining with us. I really want to jump right into the worship tonight. It's going to be awesome. So I've been working on this for the past several days. I've been in prayer to saturate the nation in the heart of God, in the mysteries of the heart of God. And so are you guys ready with me? Are you guys ready to go deep into the heart of the Father tonight? I do want to encourage you to wear some headphones because that way you'll get the full stereo effect of the music tonight and you will allow yourself to be fully engaged so that you can rise to heavenly places with the Lord. So if anything should happen with the technology, I hope it doesn't. I pray that it doesn't. I'm not expecting any glitches tonight. We will restart the broadcast. So be ready to come right back because we are going to finish tonight. So I just want to encourage you guys to go to our website at mysterian.tv and there you can find all about us. You can find everything that we do. You can become a Mysterian partner. You can jump into the individual classes or you can subscribe to on a monthly basis to be able to partake of all of the teachings that I do to go very, very deep into the mysteries of God's heart, revealing the kingdom of God, the mysteries of the kingdom, which is endless. My God, it's just endless. And so when you go on the journey to go into the Lord's heart that way, there's so much to explore the wonders of his person. It's never ending. So I want to encourage you to check out our website. I do have a link on the post. You'll see the link to uh, subscribe to our SMS text notifications and that number you would basically type in the letters USA 777 to the number 404-442-0039. It is on your post for those of you that can uh, see it on Facebook. You should be able to see it on the other um areas as well. You guys ready to rock and rule? You guys ready to rock and worship tonight? Let me send you guys some love. Send me some love in the text chat here on Facebook. Uh, I won't be able to see the text chat in the other ones, but I will check them out later. So I'm just going to get, send you guys some love. Send me some love back. And we are going to get started, guys. I'm very excited about tonight. So tonight I'm just going to release the heart of God over the nation, over you. And so we're going to dive. We're going to dive deep. This is going to be spontaneous. A lot of it is going to be spontaneous. We're going to flow spontaneously. And there is a scripture that I do want to share with you that is very, very uh, fascinating. And it talks about the mystery of, releasing the mystery of the Lord. And so let me just see if I can just find it real quick. Thank you, Lord. 
it has to do with releasing mysteries of God with our music. Let me see if I can find the reference. I think it's Psalm 145. If I can't find it, Okay, I can't find it at the moment, but it talks about releasing the mysteries of God as I release the music. And it was David in his psalms when he was singing a psalm unto the Lord. And so he knew how to release the mysteries of God through his worship and through his song. And that's exactly what we're going to do tonight. So I encourage you to share the broadcast because we're getting ready to dive deep tonight. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you. 
Yeah. 
with the mysteries of love from heaven, from the heart of God, from the chambers of the Lord, let it flow.
tonight, the glory of the Lord is risen, is risen upon you, is risen upon America. And that glory is being released tonight. That glory is being released even when you pray, even when you dive deep into the mysteries of God's heart. And the Lord is calling out. He is calling us out into deeper realms of his mystery because there is where the answers lie for this nation, for your families, for our president, for our governmental leaders. We've got those that we know that seem to be anti-God and anti-Christ and the things that they're doing to try to destroy this nation, to destroy our president, to destroy our families, to destroy our babies. But the Lord has you in place as a resistance to the enemy. You are the resistors. You are the ones because as you dive deep into the mysteries of the heart of the Lord, he's going to reveal something secrets to you that are going to be so key that is going to turn the key and unlock that which has been hidden and that which has been buried for even ancient of days for even many 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 years and thousands of years ancient even ancient anointings ancient mysteries that are being unlocked god is revealing during this time and this season right now like never before for me personally in the last five years of my life there has been such an unveiling such an outpouring of the spirit of god upon me personally and flowing through everything has just been revamped and changed and god is calling us he's taking the veil of the religious matrix off of our eyes so that you can see who you really are so that you can see yahweh as he is and so that you can see the plan that he has for our nation One thing that I want to say and one thing that I want to decree that the heart of the president, we see the heart of the president and God has revealed the heart of the president. And it's those that are that have a hatred for the president that their eyes are blind. They cannot see. They cannot see the plan of the Lord. So therefore, they will never be able to see as long as they harbor the things that they harbor in their hearts to try to destroy this nation and try to destroy our president. But you, as prayer warriors, you, as sons and daughters of God, that God is calling us deeper into his heart tonight. He's calling us deeper into the heart of the plan that he has for you personally. And then he's going to release the plan that he has for America. He's already, he already has the plan. And as you are aligned with him, as you are aligned with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, he's going to continue to reveal the blueprint of who you are and the blueprint for America. Let me tell you something. God's got amazing plans for our nation. He's got amazing plans for our nation. And those plans are continuing to unfold and unfold and unfold. And I just really want to encourage you to to really make a point and make a choice to get away from the social media, from the chaos of the news, from the chaos of things that are going on around and spending that time instead with the Lord. You know, God is not so demanding that, you know, sometimes it's just 15 minutes, sometimes it's an hour. And though there are those of you that want to spend one, two, three hours in the presence of the Lord. It's, it's, it's the choice. It's the choice that you make to spend the time with him. Last night, I released um, just what happened to me personally. And there's many things that, that I experience on a personal level that I don't share because many times they're just, they're just too personal and they're too deep to have words to explain what happens. And these are just not 
things that are somewhere in the sky somewhere. These are personal moments with the Lord. And last night as I was praying, and even before I could finish taking communion, I saw the Lord walking towards me and I saw his light and, and just the, the, just the brilliance of his clothing. And he walked closer to me and the, and the closer that he walked, and the more that he erupted inside of me, the light, he illumined my being. And as he illumined my being, my very being, it was as if I was taken away. And this world was just like, it, I just couldn't see it. All I could see was his face, his eyes, his smile, his gentleness, and his joy, and the desire of his heart to just sit with me, to just be with me, not asking for anything in return. There's many times that we might have friends that they want to spend time with you because there's something that they want to get from you. But that's not how God is. He's not looking for things to take from you. He's looking to give and to always give and to pour into you. And there's just this deep desire that we have as spirit beings to just be loved simply for who we are. It's very difficult many times to find that in human relationships. And there's many times that human relationships will disappoint and they will fall away. But the one constant steady that will never fall away is the constancy of the presence and the, the love of the Lord that is always there with us. He's always there. We don't always feel it because sometimes we make the choice to not enter into his heart and into his body. One of the fastest ways and one of the only ways that you can do that is by partaking of communion on a daily basis and receiving the sacrifice. You know, Paul said, I die daily. There's a reason why he said, I die daily, because he made a choice. He made a choice to go in to Jesus. He made a choice to go into his body. He made a choice to go into his heart. He made a choice to go into his arena, into his realm, into where he was. You know, Jesus told the disciples, you know where I am. I'm going to the Father, but you know how to go where I am going. Jesus left the mysteries. He left the secrets of his heart. He had been with them for three years and he demonstrated to them how to be intimate with him, not just in the natural, but that they could carry the same glory with them into the realm of the spirit, even after he physically left this earth. And when he physically left this earth, he came and lived inside of us, his very spirit, his very being. And so when we, so when so last night when I was in prayer and I was spending time with the Lord, I just lost track of time and I felt his love just just flow over me, rivers of living waters. And even as I was working on the music this week, water to my soul, it was just water to my soul. It's just water to my soul. And I could see the, the chambers of his heart just linked to mine. He placed his hand upon my heart and it was just like a resuscitation and just his heartbeat just booming and booming and booming and booming. And by the time that I got up and that I left my prayer closet, literally my prayer closet, it was just a time and a change of transfiguration. You know, Jesus went on the Mount of Transfiguration. You guys have taught, have heard me teach about this. You guys have heard me talk about this. And, and times that I've shared going to Israel, to the Mount of Transfiguration. This is something that is real for us every single day. And God is transforming this nation. He's transforming and transfiguring the DNA of this nation. As we continue to join together as one heart, one mind, one body for Christ that the covering of the Lord continues to expand and expand and expand and the authority of the Lord expands over our nation because he loves not just our nation he loves the people not just the people in the nation but he loves the whole human race 
the whole human race. That's what God is after. That is God was after. And that is why America is so strategically placed and so important where it is today. Because as we come together, those of us that make up the soul of America, And those believe, especially believers in Christ, that as you release the mysteries of the Lord and your different spheres of influence, that God is going to draw. That's what he's after. He's after drawing the people because there's a separation right now, guys. There's a separation that's been going on for the past several years, and there's more separation to come. You haven't even seen anything yet. Wait until we come up to the time of the election. There's going to be so much more stuff to sift through, but the glory of the Lord is increasing. The glory of the Lord is upon you. It's not going to be upon you. It is upon you. And to go into and to dive into that place of glory where you can receive from the Lord, where you can be transformed and be transfigured and where you come out a being of fire, a being of fire that the enemy doesn't want to have anything to do with because you care the fear and the dread of the Lord upon you. And that is what is needed in America for believers in Christ to walk in the fear and the dread of the Lord, to be those fire beings, those fire beings that as the fire of the Lord is released and illuminating the hearts of others, of who they are, of who they are, what they have access to. That is what God is after. Yes, he loves our nation, but he's after the heart of the people. The enemy is after the DNA of the human race, guys. We need to wake up to this reality. The enemy is after the DNA of the human race. We see this depicted. We see what is going on in the in the opposition, that things that are opposing our nation, the things that are opposing the things that are good for us. We see it. We see it. We see it. But God is restoring and has restored our DNA through the body and the blood of Yeshua. Even though you have asked the Lord into your heart, if you are in fact a believer in Christ and you have asked him into your heart, There's still the enemy trying to come and to infiltrate and pollute your DNA. And Jesus provided a way for us to remain in a state of purity. And that is through the body and the blood of Jesus. Because the enemy cannot touch your DNA in that place. He cannot touch your DNA. He cannot touch your being in that place. So it's vital. It's imperative for you to stay in that place. To literally make a choice. Because that's what Paul did. Paul chose. He chose. He chose. He said, I die daily to this human being. Guys, you have a human being. But the Lord has revealed that we are spirit beings. We are spirit beings that live in this human body, but we can't be ruled by this human being, by this body, by this soul, by this mind, that he's given us a choice because the you can't even die on your own. It has to be through the blood of Jesus. It has to be through the sacrifice of the Lord that you can even die to your human being so that your spirit being can come on the forefront to rule and to reign and to get some things done in the realm of the kingdom, to rule and to be positioned so that you can release the heavenly glories and so that your being, being in the being of God, which is the the Lord is all consuming fire. And as the Lord consumes you with his fire, then you're going to be able to ignite and catch others on fire for the glory of the Lord, for the glory of the Lord. So America tonight, I decree in the name of Yeshua, I speak to these impeachment hearings and I command those those impeachment 
hearings to dissolve in the name of Yeshua because it's already been settled in heaven that the president is not guilty of any of those things that have that they have accused him of there has been no law that has been broken and yet what what the democrats do is that they try to poison the minds of the american people but as you stay deep hovered and smothered in the blood and the heart of Yeshua, you're not going to hear those frequencies of the chaos that is around you. You're going to hear the direction of the Lord, and the Lord is going to show you and to help you to encourage others, even as others might be confused. Get out of the chaos, guys. You don't live there. You don't belong there. You don't belong there. Yes, you make an impact and you blow up the chaos with the peace and the presence of the Lord. That's why I feel like it was so important tonight as we release the peace of God. Peace, be still and know that I am God. And the Lord is continuing to give us peace. He is our peace. But we have to make a choice, just like Paul did, to go into that realm of peace every single day every single day. Let me tell you something. Let me share a mystery with you guys. Let me share a mystery with you that I'm going to be done. We'll be done for tonight. I'm going to share a mystery with you that there are different realms of the kingdom that we have the privilege to access. And every realm that you go into, there's always a challenge. There's always an opposition. America's in one of those realms of opposition right now. But that doesn't mean that America is going to stay there. There are realms that we go into. And the more that we go into the heart of Christ, the more that we allow him, his DNA, to transform and to transfigure our DNA, the more deeper we're going to go into the deeper places and the higher places with the Lord. And the thing is that when you're experiencing that opposition, a lot of times we call it warfare. You know, God has really done away with the warfare, fighting off all of these demons, and we can't give them credit. We can't give them the time of the day anymore. There was a realm of warfare that we did, but God has moved on from that because when you're seated in heavenly places and you're in your position, the enemy's under your feet. So there is no war in the place of peace. There is no war in the place of peace. The only the, the struggle is, is your human being, your human being coming to the cross. That's the struggle. And that's where the enemy fights. And as long as you're alive, your human being is alive and still alive, that he can come and he can pester you and he can pick at it. But when you die, there's nothing for him to feed off of. There's nothing for him to eat. There's nothing for for him to be able to accuse you with and therefore the realm of peace belongs to you you enter into the realm of peace and so we learn through each realm how to go to that place and to not allow the things that would try to come and pick at your human being to allow it to rule and to reign because we don't have to choose the annoyances of the enemy. We don't have to choose the things that he may try to annoy us with through people, through relationships, through things that are going on in the world. We don't have to pick it up. We don't have to pick it up. Those are partly temptations. But God has allowed us access into the realms of the kingdom so that we can see what he's doing to be about our father's business so that we can see not only what he's doing, but we can see who we are. We can see how we're dressed in royalty and royal robes of righteousness. And when you see who you are, then you come forth in the confidence of the Lord to be able to step out and to move the chaos out of the way and to split those waters and to impact and make a difference in what God has called you to do and your different, your different spheres of influences that God has called you to those places. 
So tonight I bless you and I decree the peace and the blessing over America tonight, the peace and the blessing of our president, because this thing is going to end very quickly and he's going to come forth vindicated, vindicated in the name of Yeshua, because he's already vindicated in heaven. And I decree it forth and I speak it forth that even as this week, we're not going to be carried off in the chaos, but we're going to see the hand of the Lord move, move, move in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you guys for being with me tonight, standing strong for the president, for our nation this week, because we know that vindication is ours. Vindication belongs to us. Vindication belongs to our president. And I believe that this is going to be over with very, very soon. And we're going to continue. And I just, I just so appreciate how the president just presses through every obstacle and he still continues to put America first. He still continues to get things accomplished. The media doesn't give him credit and it doesn't matter because we, the American people, we see it. We see, we see past all the rubbish because we're hearing the heart of God. We're hearing the heart of God and we're hearing what the Lord is doing. We're hearing, we're seeing, we're seeing what he's doing and God is doing amazing things in this nation. Don't fall asleep, guys. Don't allow the enemy to yank your chain because God has amazing things yet to come, yet to come. And we are walking into those adventures this year in Jesus' name. Be blessed, guys. And Stay tuned if you want to keep track of our next live broadcast. Go on your foot on your cell phone, type in the characters USA 777 to the telephone number 404-442-0039, and you will receive text notifications of when we go live. God bless you guys, and I just want to thank you for being with us tonight. God bless you, and we'll see you next time.